Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, as my my uh, talk was cut a bit, I'm going to cut right to the chase, to the main feature. I have a video. I think you will be able to hear it. Okay. And I'm going to show it first, and then we can talk about it and go through the the rest of the material I have. Yeah. So, sorry, let me introduce this. These are, these are some people that I talk to about our stuff, okay? And uh, I think I have to put the volume up, right? Uh, oh, well, about our stuff? Uh, no, I asked them about our stuff. And so did Jonathan, and so did Neophytos. I, your friend is not here. I, I've reduced it to four. And so did other people I asked to. to. The only condition I, I asked, they had to be people who used computers regularly, right? And that they were, did not belong to our community. And if possible, not to the Linux community, right? Now, that is a, a very big demo, OK? But I don't, yeah. I mean, the VLC, I think, oh, maybe VLC, yes, maybe. Right. OK, I hope it doesn't blow your ears out. Right, so first question, do you know what a desktop environment is? Yeah. Yeah. A friendly user interface for the for the user to you know use the computer. Um, it's the Oh, sorry, that's starting it off again. It's on the loop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The thing is that um, I think that the, 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 the talk before, maybe I should have gone after this one. You know, uh, first we have to, I, I think that maybe our priority is to tell people that we exist and then they will know and then you can tell them where to get our stuff. You know, it's... <laughs> so, this is the thing. Um, a lot of people think that promo is for the KD community. No, these are the people we are going to. You must... This, this, these interviews, I did them, uh, or I asked the other people to do them, without any kind of spite. We are not trying to show, oh, look at all these clueless people. That is not it at all. That is not it at all. The thing is that if you go out, outside, uh, the immediate circle of KD, everybody has this level of knowledge of what we do, which is nothing. 
okay? Nobody outside, a very, very small number of people in the world know what we do or even that we exist, okay? So, and that is Promo's job, right? Promo's job is to get as many people as possible to know about us outside our circle. We do not cater to you in promo. We do not cater to anybody here. You already know plenty about what's going on in here. It's everybody else we are worried about. Okay? From a free software point of view, it is also consistent with our principles. We are here to save them. Right? You don't need saving. You're already, you know, in desktop heaven. Okay, so I have a little presentation. Um, as uh, it is, as the, ta the, 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 my talk has been cut, I, well, sorry, it hasn't been cut. I have a bit less time than I thought. I will go directly to the most important bits, okay? Uh, right. Okay. So, um, basically what we do in the promo, oh, it's on some sort of, what we do in the promos is we try and uh, achieve our goals. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to switch that off. Pardon? It's ocular, so... Nope. Okay, the thing is... I'll stop it if... Damn it. Okay, uh... Pardon? Okay, okay, right, whatever. Right, yeah, okay. So uh, the thing is we have to, there we go. We have to try and achieve our goals. That is the short story of what we do in the promos. If you go to that address, you will see our goals. Our goals are basically get more people to know about KDE and about our software. That is the, 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 the kernel of what we do, right? Now, um, uh, that has several sub-goals in it, like uh, get more users to find about our, find, uh, help users find out about our software, help companies find out about our software, help companies use our frameworks, uh, talk to uh, governments so that they can use things like GCompress in schools, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's all getting more users to use our software, more developers to use our software, more contributors to the community. Basically, that is it. The thing is that Promo is not a goal, has, hasn't got any goals of its own. It's goalception. We have goals for other people, right? So if you go to those to that, uh, those list of goals, you will see they all start with the word help. Say, help the community acquire more contributors. Help such and such do this. We don't do anything for ourselves. We are so selfless in promo, you cannot imagine. You know. <laughs> so uh, our goals are to help other people in the community to, do, to achieve their goals, right? Um, and we have a problem, is that we do not have um, any sort of like milestones to make. We don't have things like releases. We don't have, uh, uh, well, we don't have version numbers on our campaigns or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to see that Promo is doing anything at all. Right? And that is as it should be, right? Our stuff 
It's invisible. It's like the translation group. Suddenly, there is another language that is supported on X software, right? But nobody really talks about it, but that makes it that little bit better. Suddenly, people are talking about us more in the media. You know, a fraction more. And that is what we in Promo have achieved. But it's not something that you can say, hey, you know, mission accomplished, right? So we also, um, apart, from, apart from getting more people talking about us, we try and figure out stuff like how to do things better, right? And this is... This is where we hit uh, 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 problems with inside the community. As you know, uh, Promo has not had like um, a smooth sailing within KD, to say the least, right? But, <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> well, it's true, you know. Well, <laughs> but the problem is that that when uh, when we do stuff, people can you know, turn up angry on our doorstep and say, why did you do that? Or why didn't you do that? Uh, and you have to understand, uh, uh, no, they say, you didn't do that, sorry. And we have to explain why, right? So uh, uh, normally it is because in our area of expertise, we tend to know a bit better in, or about that, right? Um, so I'm going to give you an example of uh, how we do things slightly better and how we say things the way we do and stuff like that. Uh, this, is a, this is a tweet from the Linux Application Summit, right, um, that they put out. And we thought we could improve this. Uh, you know, and being arrogant the arrogant bastards we are, we tried. And so they, we had to advertise this on our site. We, we actually retweeted this, but it still only got five retweets and 10 likes, which is pretty low. So we put out our own tweet, and we did this, right? Um, that is Aleix, that is Albert, and we did the montage and we gave it a name and things like that. And voila, five times more retweets, five times more likes. Uh, is there anybody from KD Life here? There's never anyone from KD Life because, and, and I always, and I always go after them because they do so many, they do such a great software. They do such a crap job at promoting their software that I always want them here, and they're never here. Well, anyway, so they did this. KD Live 18.04.1 released. Okay, so they, this is on Reddit. They got, um, what is it? Two comments, 83 upvotes. So uh, by mistake, I posted my own version. Right? This was a, an honest mistake. I wasn't out to shame them or anything like this. So I posted this. I don't know if you can read that. Oh, yes, you can read that perfectly. 183 upvotes, 17 comments. And it was posted after theirs. Right? So normally when, they, uh, when somebody comes to us and says, why did you say things like that? It's because we know what we're doing. Right? You really, really have to start trusting us on this. It's the same way that uh, 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 there are stuff we don't do, and we have reasons to not do it too. So these are, these are things, you know, this is not my job from a site called Not My Job. But anyway, so what happens is there is stuff that people come along and say, oh, we should do this, X, I don't know. Uh, the latest one, I hope the person who proposed it is not here. Uh, somebody came along and said, we should promote um, a certain MP3 app, okay? 
And my reaction was, why? You know, what do we achieve? Now, I didn't do it mean-spiritedly. I said, why? Give me a reason to do this. I, it was not in our plans to, to promote uh, an MP3 app, any MP3 app. Um, so why would you do that? What goal does it help us achieve? The first thing that anybody that comes by and asks Promo to do is I send them to the, to the goal. It says, read the goals, find out your plan, what, what you want us to do, if it fits in any of them. If it doesn't, we probably won't do it. You can do it, but we won't. Okay. And not only that, you have to reason to me how you get from your idea to achieving one of our goals. Right? It's just not. So, for example, somebody can say, let's promote this MP3 player. Why? Because it's awesome. Okay. And what do we achieve if we promote this awesome application? We get more users, which is one of your goals. Okay. How do you get from it's awesome to you get more users? You may think in your mind, you may think there is a direct link. There isn't. Because we all agree that here in KDE, we produce awesome software. Why don't we have more users then? Right? So anybody who ha comes by with, uh, I call them uh, uh, fly-by idea shooters. Right? They come by, give an idea, and then woof, piece off. So if anybody comes by with an idea like this, I normally send them also to our work board. Our work board has over 60 open tasks, right? And these are stuff that we have decided are important and are working on and can't because we ha don't have enough bandwidth, okay? So they can go there and do stuff like that. And that's, if anybody has an idea, you can go there. The other thing is that we can put things on a, on a sort of a graph, right? There, are stuff, there is stuff that is helpful to do because it helps us progress towards a goal. And there is stuff that is pointless, that goes, doesn't take us anywhere near any of our goals. And then there's stuff that is popular, right, that gets us lots of coverage, which I suppose is helpful in itself. I'm not sure. And then there's stuff that gets ignored, right? Now, this is a, this is a bit hard to swallow, but um, popular and helpful normally very often don't go on the same axis. You know, stuff that is popular is, not, is often not very helpful. For example, we congr congratulate other people's projects a lot. So we say happy birthday, Noam, happy birthday, Debian, happy birthday, this, happy birthday, that, happy birthday, LibreOffice, whatever. Um, these are super popular posts. They get hundreds of retweets, literally hundreds of retweets and hundreds of likes. And lots of people talk about them. They serve no purpose. They do not get us anywhere near our goals, right? Reminiscing, talking about, oh, you know, 20 years of of KDE, and we post a lot of uh, uh, screenshots of KDE 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, etc. Lovely. Gets us nowhere near our goals. At Promos goals, okay? Promos goals, right? Um, we publish, from time to time, we publish jokes. They're fun. People retweet them. Nothing. Shit talking other projects. Totally pointless. It's, it's something that is very popular. People like controversy. People like saying, oh, no, they're so, you know, they're so lame, etc. But it gets us nowhere near our goals. Promos goals. Now, here I have to distinguish between what is promo goals and what is community building. Some of these things contribute to community building, right? Some of these things serve as a social grease within the community, you know, to make the community feel better about themselves, right? And that helps. That is a good thing. That makes people feel more at home within the community, etc. But that does not help Promo's goal 
of acquiring more users or acquiring more uh, companies to use our stuff or anything like that. It gets us nowhere, or at least not in a direct way. It, it may be, you know. Now, uh, release announcements, on the other hand, are useful and they're very popular. Great. You put them out, hundreds of retweets, hundreds of comments on Reddit, hundreds of things, etc. And you also serve a clear purpose, which is getting more people to know about our software, maybe download it, and maybe use it. Right? Uh, and info about end user apps, anything about mobile phones, that is, that, that is crazy. Anything, any, there's a photo of a mo any mobile phone, any crappy mobile phone running Plasma Mobile will automatically get you 300 upvotes on Reddit. Um, helpful but not popular security advisories and this is a hard one post about academy or, a, or for that fact any event we participate in are not popular people tend to ignore them for some reason I don't I really I really don't understand that one they are useful of course they are useful you have to tell people about the stuff you're doing you have to tell them about the venture organizers so they can come they can register they can do this or that so they are very helpful but for some reason they are not popular stuff that are not helpful stuff in this area is stuff that we would tend to try and avoid doing right so if somebody comes along and says oh can we talk about this post I have in my blog, blah, 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 and it's something really technical, something to do with, with I don't know, um, adjusting something in a framework or some, something really technical. Uh, there's not much point in doing that because it's not popular and it's not helpful. It doesn't help us get any near our goals of acquiring more uh, 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 users. It may be helpful to make that particular developer like us more. But it's not, it does not achieve uh, any, it does not get us any nearer to any of our goals. Posts about Academy after Academy are not very useful and they're not very popular either because, you know, Academy's already gone well, by the time we put that out, right? Again, this is. Uh, uh, you, it, it is useful, uh, as I say, this is all in terms of what our goals say. It is useful for inside the community, right? For uh, 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 boosting community morale or whatever, or people who couldn't come, etc. But normally, whatever you inform here, people already know about. And talking about internal admin, like saying, I don't know, we have a new board member, etc., is normally is not very useful for our goals, and it is not very useful uh, and is not very popular. So, so that was where I was going to play the video. Now, the thing is, um, the question is. Do these, the things we do work? Do by uh, selecting our content and by reworking our content, does it work? Yes, objectively it does, right? So this here is, uh, we took over uh, the, the LinkedIn account. This was important for us because we wanted to reach a more professional uh, 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 audience. So we took over... Uh, uh, the, the LinkedIn account in September 2018. And, uh, well, before that, nobody had bothered to download the, the stats from, from uh, uh, LinkedIn, which is another thing we do. We download uh, uh, tons of stats and we analyze them and we put them in, into something that we can understand. So, uh, but my... Uh, my thought is that they probably were all, these, these are a number of um, people that join, uh, that start following us, right? So zero, zero, zero is because nobody, that we don't have the information. And then it's 23, 21, 28, and then suddenly, boom, 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 boom. Okay, it goes into three figures, right? From the moment we take over. This 
is what uh, the followers in KDs in R, uh, in RKDs in Reddit, on Reddit. Okay, so we took over uh, here, not here. I think here. Ah, here, exactly at this bend, right? So uh, we took over there, and we started pushing Reddit a lot. You can see that it's sort of like yes, it's going up, fantastic. But then suddenly, whoop, it goes all the way up, right? Now, there's a lot of bragging in this. I'm sorry about that. So that is Twitter. Now, uh, again, uh, uh, before we took over, people were not, uh, nobody had thought of taking stats. These are Twitter followers. Now, there is a slight, there's a slight bend there in somewhere between 2007 and 2018. Do you see that? Well, that bend is a different, is when we took over, and it goes from, uh, that, is, that bend signifies that f from uh, 450 followers a month, we went over to uh, over 1,000 a month. Okay. Um, sorry, went back. This is the number of mentions in publications. Again, nobody had taken any note of how many times we appeared in the press. Right? And um, sure, I, so I don't know what happened before 2017. But as you can see, this is, uh, this is um, quarterly, right? So there's a big bump there because we probably published something. There was some sort of release there or something. But as you can see, from there on, it gradually goes up and up and up and it continues going up. So there are more people. We now have. Journalists that are fans, especially journalists are fans of, of Nate Graham, and I am very jealous. Um, we have people, uh, I mean, we used to never appear on, in Pharonix. Now we appear regularly in Pharonix. Uh, we used to appear sometimes in um, uh, Softpedia, but now we appear nearly every couple of days. We also have appeared in other publications. And I could brag all afternoon, but I will not. So then that's it. Now, any questions? Uh, have I gone over time? No, I'm not going to go. I'm going to, I want questions. Yes. Well, one of the biggest I, I used to be a I used to be a teacher, right? Uh, I used to be an English teacher. One of the and uh, of all the skills I learned, the most important was to be patient. I mean, that is the most thing. So, what I I ask the community is to be patient, and if you don't see why we did or didn't do anything, come in before getting angry. Come in and ask. We cannot, we cannot explain every single step of what we do all the time because otherwise we wouldn't do anything else, right? So come to, come to uh, our, our Matrix channel, our Telegram channel, or whatever, uh, or IRC channel, and, and do what some guys did a couple of weeks ago and ask us why we had taken out their uh, 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 contributions to the release announcement. They had, I can't remember what project they were from. The, what was, what was that? Ah, yes, lab plot, that is correct, yes. They had done some changes to, uh, Cantor, that's the one. They had done some changes to Cantor. Now, these changes were tending towards the rather technical. And uh, we decided that instead of doing a great big long shopping list of, of, of uh, uh, changes in the, in, the, in the release announcement, we would leave that to the, um, we would leave that obviously in the change log 
and refer people to that who wanted those details. And we would try to make the announcement more article-like. Why? Because journalists are lazy, uh, by definition. This, they, so what happens is if you give a journalist a list of changes, they're going to read like four lines. and They're going to say, oh, fuck it. I'm not going to do this. I, I, can't, I can't turn this into an article. But if you give them a quotable article, something they can lift wholesale and plump and put it and then get paid for doing a copy paste, then you have a journalist on your side. So, and that was the reason why we got, uh, we, we took the notes and we said, okay, what can we use? What is, what is the most, the most sort of like, thing we can describe best we can we can uh, that sounds exciting and we can turn into a story it, what change every change has to have a story behind it right normally the story is uh, uh, or it corrects a bug that was annoying people or it makes things faster it makes uh, uh, it makes uh, things crash less or it adds features basically that's what interests everybody. For users, it's normally it adds features, right? For business people, it crashes less and it makes my workers work faster or helps my workers work faster. Normally, that, th that is it. So um, uh, we got the stories that we thought that could, would appeal to journalists and to end users and to the audience we were going to and we use those. It doesn't mean in any case that we think that lab plot and cantors, the developers, their, their work, we don't think it's less than anything else. They say, oh, but you always talk about KDN Live and Krita. Okay, there are two reasons for that. One is that KDN Live and Krita have come to us and asked to work with us, right? We're, and uh, anyone. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, uh, and that's the other, uh, that's, that's another one. And th the other one is that uh, 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 it is true. They are very niche applications, but they are very popular in those niches. So we use them as an excuse to drag everybody else up, right? So we can always refer to Kaden Life and Krita, and outside our bubble, many people will know what we're talking about. Even outside the Linux bubble, they will know what we're talking about. So we use them as, let's say, I was going to say donkeys, but I'll say oxen. Oxen that dra drag other applications along with them. Okay? Camels. Okay, they're camels. <laughs> okay, next question. Yes? When I tell... Uh someone in the real life to not to use this proprietary application but uh, use that free software application uh, in a way i try to mm, let them know that uh, they have to use not a better application but a, a more moral application a more ethical application yes. uh, in a way i try to de-educate them from the proprietary paradigm mm. and re-educated, not in a paternalistic way, in an inclusive way, yeah. to a, a, a different uh, moral level of making uh, software. Do you see it uh, as a part of uh, promo or it is something that it should is... start after uh, using yeah. KD software? Um, it is not a tool that promo can use, uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, our, our conviction uh, of all of us in, in promo is that we are doing uh, something that is morally right. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it. Okay. Um, but convincing people that it is better, morally better, that uh, it is some, somehow better for the world and for uh, the environment, etc., and for the rights, for their own rights, etc. Normally, that doesn't enter the equation at all. Think of Instagram, okay? Instagram belongs to Facebook. 
it, Facebook is probably the most deplorable company, IT company in the world. Does it matter? Not a bit. People still use Instagram. Their user base continues to grow. We're talking about billions of users of Instagram, right? Yeah, Facebook is in decline, but that's because there's only old foggies like me that's, that still maybe use, well, I don't use it any, uh, for anything personal anymore, but, but Instagram belongs to the same company, spies exactly the same on all users, and that is growing. Uh, Facebook is declining be uh, uh, because it is not cool anymore. Instagram is growing because it's still cool. And, that, and everybody knows this. I mean, it's not like nobody knows that Facebook is terrible and that Instagram belongs to Facebook. Everybody knows this. Well, maybe not, but OK, a lot of people know it. So yeah, the moral argument, unfortunately, is not something we can use, even if it's in the benefit of, of, of the individual. Sorry, yes, question. Um, as you said that KDE is also making many uh, awesome end user applications. And as a result, we saw this GSOC uh, creating many ports for the applications for Windows, Mac. Sorry, could you repeat? I... Um, like uh, in this GSOC, we saw many new projects that were ports of already existing awesome applications yeah. of KDE on Linux. And we saw the ports uh, coming to Android, uh, Windows, and Mac OS. So how do you think these new projects align with the goals of KD promo? Uh, so so uh, do I understand the question correctly? Uh, uh, that uh, Are you asking whether applications going to Android and other platforms helps us? Um, like promoting those, uh, does promoting those applications which are not on Linux helps uh, the goals of KD promo? Yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, uh, 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 KD, uh, KD doesn't only produce uh, uh, Plasma and software for Plasma. That, that is fine uh, uh, to use, uh, uh, to, to promote applications that, uh, I mean, take Krita, for example. Krita has many more users on Windows than on, on Linux, but by various factors. You know, they, they have, they have mm, uh, you know, Tens of thousands on Windows, and then some thousands on, on Linux. You know, that is not... I used to think that this was bad. And then reality struck, and I don't think it's bad anymore. I, I find it a bit deplorable. You know, I prefer all the stack... I would prefer all the stack to be, to be free, but, you know... Any more questions? <laughs> no, no, we, use, we try to convince everybody to use Matrix. We are only partially successful. So the, uh, we can take one more last question. OK. It's not a question. It's a information for promo team. In Kerala, every year, 500,000, around 500,000 kids use all most of the educational applications of KDE yeah. and all Around 100,000 teachers also always teach. So every year the number is 500,000. So it's a good number for KDA thing. But they don't use Plasma. I don't think mm. they will use soon because Malayalam spell checker in Plasma is very bad. Oh, well, so what do they use it on then? On, on Windows? Yeah, no, no. They, are, they all, only GNU Linux. All the schools only run GNU Linux, which is uh, IT school. So they GNU put it Linux. on GNOME or something? Yeah, yes. Ah, okay. They have good support for Malayalam. Yeah, there, 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 is, there is this thing that 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 uh, I mean that is that is by you know by all measures better than than oh he's gone than what the uh, uh, this other ah whatever your name is what it's proposing. So they're using GNOME. GNOME isn't our enemy. Right? And no, isn't our competitor. You know who our competitor is? Our competitor is Windows. Our competitor is Mac OS. Right? We have less than 1%, less, but much less than 1% of the desktop market. GNOME has less than 1% of the desktop market. Windows has 95%. Mac OS has 3%. Right? 
So that people use KD applications on GNOME, hey, welcome, that's brilliant. And they, I, I, I'm shouting, I feel like Mussolini. I, <laughs> and they are all in the same boat as us. They want exactly the same thing. They want users to be able to enjoy their freedom and their privacy and all those things. Anyway, and I'm going to stop because somebody else wants to speak. Thank you very much. Thank you.